What is going on guys, my name is Ron back in from Romney Views here with something that I wanted to at least address to you guys in case you guys were wondering. I've gotten a couple comments already just asking, hey Roman, are you going to be reacting to anything of fall season? For the most part, it's most likely going to be no. And that's mostly just due to the fact that right now I have been completely swamped with work in the last like three weeks. And even with the fact that Rizzo was continuing on, I had plenty of opportunities and plenty of desires to want to take a break from reacting and but ReZero is just one of those few animes that was just so damn good that I just couldn't couldn't stop it regardless but with work being as busy as it is and I know I constantly use that excuse but I do work in retail and unfortunately I'm in a situation where I have been in a spot where I work with five people one of those is technically a helper from another store and three of those people are gone including that helper so that helper, one of our regular employees, and then my manager has been out. And just due to personal things, or just, and I'm not going to really get into that because none of my business. But because of that, it's been literally me in charge of my entire department because I'm, I had to take the reins. And then another dude who doesn't normally have to work as many hours as he usually does. And he has his own issues, so conflict of, <laughs> of interest with work. So... And that with it just, without really getting into detail, because I know I don't really want to bore you and bog you down with the details, but with that whole situation going on, um, I have to deal with corporate and the brass tacks and having to deal with them, and then they don't really see the fact that, hey, you're down well over 66% of your people, we still expect you to do 100% of the work uh, without any downtime or any anything less of what is expected with a full team because you know uh, apparently they weren't able to do math i i guess when they got management or they just forgot I, I i don't know but i will at the very least talk to you guys about shows that i am looking i'm at least looking into that i'll be watching on my own time um whether or not i'm going to be reacting to them i don't know in, in all honesty, I'm I'm going to go s probably have a sit-down conversation with my manager and the management of my store and figure something out because as of right now, my work life has dramatically affected my, my personal time. Work has become, has been actually for the longest time the primary focus, but it's to the point where I've been so focused and so drawn not really drawn for for lack of a better word just that has been my that is my life right now and it's been an unhealthy uh balance in my life so i i need to eventually put my foot down and stop being uh, stop saying yes to everything but enough of that i'm ready to talk about what this fall season is and something that if you guys are not watching anything or i might point out some shows that i think personally are on my radar and i think you should at least watch it too um so first things first i'm not going to talk about dungeon or um is it wrong to pick up monster girls and dungeon why because i haven't finished catching up with it so I, that is up in the air um i'm liking the show i've read the manga i stopped probably where the second season is in the manga and i'm and i finished first season i think i'm on second season right now so yeah i mean i'll watch it i just need to get to you know finishing the second season first uh in terms of reaction i heard it's i i, I don't think so <laughs> again it's one of those things um haikyuu haven't seen anything of the other ones so that's a pass for me juju kaisen jujutsu kaisen sorry sorry um heard a lot about it didn't really care in all honesty saw some of the previews and it was like okay okay i'm, I'm, I'm sure not gonna watch it, <laughs> um, and uh, but, but the fact that it has an eight point score is not too bad. I don't know, maybe it, it just didn't really speak out to me. It didn't really pique my interest, so I think that is going to be a pause. Not really good, not on my radar whatsoever. This one, I don't know the English version of it. Same thing, didn't really stand out to me. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to get into the list where things started actually getting interesting. Higarashi no Nakakoroni, or When They Cry. This is a remake of, I wouldn't really say a classic, it definitely had its following um, for the reasons. So, it's so hard to talk about the show without spoiling it, because 
that is the appeal, is knowing what the show entails. So, if you want to go into it completely blind, I would at least say check it out. You'll know, I'd say, probably in the first episode or two. I don't know how the first episode ended. Um, all I know is that there's a certain, a certain still image that I saw that I'm like, oh, you're going to get a taste. But, so I would say skip. Um, it, it just turn your turn your brain off. Don't look at this. But, for those of you who are, in, are interested or, or don't really mind the spoilers, imagine the show is the, sh- is the movie Groundhog's Day mixed with a Battle Royale kind of aspect. It's very interesting. So, or I saw a good amount, not not the entirety, but a good amount of the original, and if this is a remake, I kind of don't want to watch it, because I don't want to show you a reaction of something I've already seen. I know what's going to happen. Sure, it's just in bright, in a bright new paste, and looks more pretty. And yeah, that's great, but it's just not a real reaction, and I've always hated not, I've always hated doing a fake reactions. I have done them before, um... Where I have seen certain things where, like, for example, I would re- react to something back on my old computer, and in the middle of the episode, it would die. So, for the first half of the episode, I actually knew exactly what happened, and I had to fake it. And I don't like doing that. I hated doing it, but at the time, people have, were watching my reactions, especially with, I think, a Goblin Slayer episode 2, I believe that happened. Um, and I had to fake it, but I liked goblin say at the time and people were watching my reactions and i was like i i, I didn't want to just drop it because that anyways so that is the main reason why i'll probably watch it on my own time again this is a remake i don't know if it's a complete remake of the original where it's built from the ground up a new plot new storyline who knows or if it's just a shot for shot with a bright uh fresh coat of new paint either way i'm interested in either way but i'm not going to react to it because of that tony kaka kawaii if I were to react to anything, it would probably be this one. Main reason why, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this manga. I never, I dropped it at, I, you know, I was reading it on this manga app on iOS called Manga Rock, which I, you can't, you can't even see it. Um, technically exists because I have it downloaded, but it has not updated um, in about a couple years. But my last chapter I read was chapter 50. Wow, over a year ago. And the premise is, imagine a rom-com, except immediately jumping, and not just, hey, I'm going to get to know them, hey, maybe I'll like them, maybe I'll start to like them, maybe I'll ask them out eventually, and this takes, what, an entire season or two? No, 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 no. In the first episode, I'm assuming, uh, because that's kind of how it was in the manga, yeah, they get married. It, it goes straight from stranger to married. There is no in between. He's like, hey, you're a very beautiful girl. I want to go out with you. And she's like, no. Only if you marry me. And he's like, okay, sure. Fine. Um, Nasa, the main character, the main guy character, um, is a great person. He has really good traits um, as a person, as a husband, I guess I could say. Um it's just a very cute, very good slice of life, very good comedy. Um, It's mostly a romance, and it's very fluffy, I guess you could say. Definitely on someone's radar if you're into that. And if you're, if you're into that kind of stuff, it's very much right up your alley and would definitely recommend. Um, Again, main reason why I would react to it is because I know the source material and I know I like it. Main reason why I wouldn't want to react to it, too, is because I've seen the original more source material, and plus with these kinds of shows, there are some exceptions. Um, Go to no Hana Yome or Quintessential Quintuplets, or same thing. We never learn. It's different. This is a bu- those two shows build up to a certain goal, girl, etc., etc. This one, you know exactly what it is. There are other girls, but it, it, they don't even compare. Main girl is best girl by far, at least from what I've read. I don't know. I think it's like 60 plus more chapters that has been updated to the series. And they constantly get updated to the front of the Reddit page of manga. And yeah. But in terms of that, I would recommend it for you guys to watch it. But yeah. And in all honesty, looking at the rest, not a single one of these had piqued my interest. Uh, Golden Kamui. I know a lot of people like that one. But in all honesty... This series, this season is not as big as I'm expecting. However, sport climbing girls. We had 
what was it? Um, How heavy are dumbbells or something like that? A couple seasons back. Now we have girls rock climbing. I saw a preview, and a girl had abs. It's all it takes for me to watch that show. I really don't need to explain that myself. Should I explain myself? Sure. Abs. There you go. I explain myself. Why should you watch this show? Abs. Why should anyone else watch this show? Abs. What if you're a girl? Abs. It don't matter. There are abs in this show. Therefore, it is on everyone's radar. Should be. And if you're not a man or woman of culture who don't like abs. Okay, women. Much more of a pass. But men. Men. Heart to heart. If seen... A girl with some well-chiseled abs doesn't make you want to press the nut button. I don't know what will. Because every time I see them abs, just all over the place. Anyway, moving on to the next one. One that actually did pique my interest, but a lot of people are not going to... Oh, there is another one, but I don't think it's on this list. Um, really quickly, I don't even see it. I don't know if this is on here, but I know it's currently airing. Um... Yeah, I'm not seeing it really quickly. Let me go down. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Um, before I'll talk about it, since it's not in order. Kuma 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 Bear. Read the manga. Pretty interesting premise. Um, it is an isekai. It's an interesting isekai. Also, I kind of feel like there's some Yuri undertones. Which is fine, because Yuri. It's great. But Kuma 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 Bear, basically, I believe this young girl thinks she's like either in middle school or high school. Don't remember. Don't quote me on this. Been a minute since I've read the original. Um, she gets isekai'd. They, I think she just randomly teleports her. Or she died. I forgot. Um, but she was a genius in her world. And she basically gets to this world with preferential, preferential treatment. She has this, this suit that looks like a bear. Hence the Kuma Kuma. Um, and it's ridiculously overpowered with stats. Um, she has these gloves that are bears too, ridiculously overpowered. Um, in fact, everything about her is just overpowered. 15 year old. Okay. Yeah. So I think she's like, she's in middle school and it was just an interesting situation. Um, I mean, it's, it's fine as is. I think I'll watch it on my own time because I, I, I at least enjoyed the original manga. Um, and I, I think the adaptation will be interesting. Uh, EMT Squared is behind it, and I don't know who they are or what they've done. Assassin's Pride. Oh, they did Renai Boken, so at least that's a plus in my book. Um, let's see, let's see. Is there anything else I've seen that by them? No, so far. Yeah, no, I've only seen uh, Renai Boken. I liked Renai Boken, personally. Um, can't remember the best girl's name. I feel so bad because I was very uh, adamant about a certain character as a best girl. That's right. Shikami was always best girl uh, because I'm that kind of guy. Don't you judge me. Um, and then I think last, really quickly, I'm just going to do a quick look. I think the last one that looked interesting, um, One Room. No. I, I, I've actually only seen like, that's right. It hasn't aired yet. Hold on. All right. There's one more after this one. So, Muno na Nana, or as I knew it, Talentless Nana. This seems like to a lot of people it's going to be a knockoff of My Hero Academia. People are born, they have these certain powers, uh, main character doesn't have a power, he's considered talentless, I think they're called talents. Um, however, the main character, I believe the black haired dude right here, I think it was, um, just doesn't have a power. And he kind of has to live with it. I didn't go too far in the manga. Because I think the site that I had that hosted it got copyright striked. Or something like that. There's a twist. There's a twist. I, I'm almost positive in the first episode you haven't seen it. I highly recommend you at least watch it until a twist. Unless they do it differently. For some reason. I don't know why they would do that. But... This twist was so out of left field, I was like, what just happened? <laughs> so, if they do it the same way, it at least should be on someone's radar. Now, the last one is going to air in 10 days from now. Dogeza da... Do, sorry. Dogeza de 
Tano, Tano Demita, Demita. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've been in Je- in Japanese class. Cut me some slack. But uh, another title of this is Asking in Dogeza, which I believe is how uh, Dogeza, Dogeza. I don't know the actual pronunciation, but it's where you prostrate yourself. You go on your hands and knees and you bow, and it's basically like the ultimate like groveling. So the premise of this show, or the series, because I read the manga, I completed the manga, wish there was more to the manga. It's basically, please show me your panties. And he, the main character is asking to see a girl's panties while prostrating himself and groveling on the floor. It's fantastic. It's perfect because yeah I mean have you ever heard of a premise so good where you as a man throw away all your pride all your dignity all your shame and you just get down on all fours head buried onto the floor and just pleading To see the panties. It's a great show. I'm definitely going to watch it. In all all seriousness, I can only see... If if it's going to be 12 episodes, these have got to be like shorts. Like three minute episodes, if that. I'm going to watch every single one of them. Why? Because the premise is that good. 10 out of 10. I don't know how anyone else could rate it lower. It just means they don't have class. But in terms of that... TV shows that are continuing in One Piece, Black Clover, Boruto, Detective Conan, uh, Fire Force Season 2, I'm severely behind. Uh, yeah, I mean, nothing else. Um, I don't know if there's anything Zoids is... Huh, okay. I didn't know Zoids was continuing on. ONAs, uh, I don't know if there's any movies. Um, OVAs, uh, shows that I'm not, have, I'm not watching... Uh, oh yeah, Burn the Witch, I believe that's out. Um, it is by Tite Kubo, or Tite Kubo, I don't know, I just know it's Kubo-san. Um, but, it, who is the mangaka and author of Bleach. Um, a series that I've um, held in high regards and I never finished, uh, and I heard I stopped at the perfect point, so, great. Uh, I mean, I, re- I watched, I read, like, I think the first chapter... And I'll see, go from there. I know it's a full, it's going to be a full-fledged series, I believe. Um, but it seemed interesting. But the one I'm looking forward to, of course, is Kimitsu no Yaiba, Demon Slayer, the movie, which is the train, which is an arc, but they decided to turn that specific arc into a movie. Um, definitely because I thought Demon Slayer was so damn good, and I continue to praise that. Um, that comes out on the 16th, so 12 days from now. Either way, all of them look interesting. But those are the shows and series and other things that are definitely on my to-do list. Now, if I were to do a winter 2021, this, this, this video would probably not stop because it is ridiculous how stacked winter 2021 is going to be. Winter 2021 is I'm go I'm hopefully going to have a reduced schedule and at least a fixed schedule because I can't keep doing this because my God, next season I'm going to be reacting to a lot of stuff, guaranteed. Because I mean for sure ReZero is going to continue on in Winter 2021, so that is absolutely a for sure thing. But anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys understand. I'm probably not going to be able to react to things. Until I can get things in, things sorted out with my work, I have been so mentally and physically drained. Um, I sleep constantly. And yeah, it has not been an easy time. Um, even with the money that I'm making, it's, at, at, at the end of the day, if you're... I guess it's just a little lesson or piece of advice that I can give... It doesn't matter how much money you have or make. If you're miserable at the end of it, it's not worth it. I would be, I would be much fine, much more fine, making a reduced pay, but with a job that I can at least be able to breathe and not have so much responsibility thrown onto my shoulders when it's not warranted. 
I'm not a manager. I'm just an assistant. I'm an assistant manager. I'm, I help the manager. But I'm treated as a manager without the pay and with all the responsibilities and heartache and headache. I swear, I've gotten more. I've, I've picked out a couple gray hairs that I realized. I'm only 25. I should not be getting gray hairs at this amount, which you guys, you guys can't see. But, yeah, I do have some on the side of my head. But, anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Again, I do apologize, but it is what it is. Winter, winter or sorry, fall 2020 has not that um, big to me in terms of shows. That's going to be wait until next year. So, hopefully, you guys will stick around with me until then. Hopefully, I don't die or get something happened until then because re-zero is definitely on my list but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time see ya